Hello, America. My name is Mark Levine. I'm a constitutional attorney, and I have the inside scoop on the United States Supreme Court case of McCutcheon versus the FEC. Sean McCutcheon and the Republican National Committee have sued the Federal Election Commission, arguing that the limit on the amount of campaign contributions is unconstitutional. That limit was set back in 1974 in the heart of the Watergate era when Congress believed that limiting the amount of money you pay politicians might just slow down corruption. Well, that limit is now $123,000. But Sean McCutcheon wants to give more, a heck of a lot more. And as Justice Scalia said in oral argument today, even three and a half million dollars is not a heck of a lot of money. Can he give more? Well, let's think about the cost of owning politicians. It used to be 33 years ago, you could put on an Arab headdress and you could buy a member of Congress for $50,000 cash. That's not true anymore. The Koch brothers, who financed the Tea Party, they largely control what the Tea Party does, and the Tea Party does largely control what the Republican Party does, but the Republican Party is only one party that controls only one House of Congress in only one branch of government. Sure, they can shut down the government, but what if you want to do things like end pollution laws? What if you want to do things like making sure that there's a Republican president of the United States from now and forevermore? Well, the House of Representatives doesn't do the job. After all, even though a majority of Americans voted for Democrats in the House of Representatives, it took a lot of money to pay state legislators to draw the district lines so the Republicans could still be in control. The Koch brothers do have a lot of money. Each of them is worth about $36 billion, or about 10,000 times the $3.5 million that Justice Scalia said was not a heck of a lot of money. And when you think about it, buying up an American election could be a pricey deal. In 2012, the total cost spent on the presidential election and every congressional race and every Senate race on all candidates in both the primaries and the general elections combined a total of a little over $6 billion, the highest ever, which seems like a lot of money. But each Koch brother is worth $36 billion. That's only one-sixth of each brother's net wealth. So if we get rid of these limits on campaign contributions, the Koch brothers can easily spend more money than every American and every person in the world and every corporation combined on national elections. And if you believe that's a good thing, you hope that the United States Supreme Court will overturn the law in McCutcheon v. FEC. This has been Mark Levine giving you the inside scoop on Washington.